Hello, gorgeous. My name is Dusty and this is the Scorpio Priestess. If you like my vibe, give me a like and a subscribe. Anybody who has, thank you. It means a lot to me. If you have donated to my channel in any way, thank you. I appreciate you as I am building my spiritual practice. Um, if you would like a personal reading, you can do that by visiting ScorpioPriestess.com. It is in the description of this video as well as in the bio. If you would like to join a group for people in separation, you can do that by visiting the link in the bio. We have a beautiful, awesome group going, guys. A um, lot of support there from each other. So it's exactly what I was hoping for. Um, Scorpio, we are going to do the next seven days. Remember that um, only take what applies to you. Not everything may apply to you. Um, if you would like a personal reading, you can certainly do that. Um, but let's hop into this now. So what is coming towards Scorp in the next seven days? Now, y'all, in my meditation, I was seeing um, tulips, a field of tulips. Tulips may have a spiritual meaning, but I was really feeling like the ground is thawing. Like in PA here, tulips start to grow very early. Um, like March when the ground is still, you know, sometimes there's snow and the tulips are popping out of the ground. Tulips are awesome flowers. They can withstand so much. They pop through, they, they start to bloom. Um, even when it's cold, they're very, very beautiful flowers. There's a lot of meanings that we could take behind tulips, but I feel like you are strong. You are a tulip baby. You are popping out of the ground. You are about to. The, your life is frozen right now a little bit, right? But it's starting to melt off. And very, very soon, you are going to um, bloom. You are going to bloom. You are going to go through your metamorphosis. We have guiding light. In your darkest hours, you will find the light that will shine through you and lead the way. In the next seven days, the divine is trying to um, lead you somewhere, is trying to get you to look at the light. Come to the light, Scorpio. Come out of the darkness and come to the light. It's time to reevaluate your present circumstances and begin to make changes where changes are needed here. Reevaluation. In the next seven days, you may be reevaluating some things in your life. You may be reevaluating. Um, people, places, a job, reevaluating the way you see yourself, the way you see light. Oh my gosh, I love and I claim dreams come through true. Your dreams are coming true because you have stayed true to your heart's desire. The next seven days, something really, really wonderful, beautiful could be coming from you. A dream come true. Something could be happening here. Um, very, very soon for you. In the next seven days, your dreams are about to come true in something, whether that is love, money, a career. You might be getting a new um, car, a new home, some new job, something here that's going to be like a dream come true because you have stayed true to your heart's desire. But I feel like you need to come to the light, Scorpio. You've been in the dark for a moment. Use this time to reevaluate your life, reevaluate the changes that you may need to make, reevaluate the things that aren't working and what is working and work from that, right? Reevaluate your present, your present circumstances. I don't know how I can't talk today. Recognize the signs from above. We just got this in last reading. The angels are sending you a message now, but you're too distracted to notice. Stay alert to divine guidance. And the next seven days, guys, there's going to be something that's guiding you. Signs everywhere, number, synchronicities, um, things, uh, just synchronicities abound, I'm hearing. Just things that you aren't typically, um, you don't typically see. Like there's going to be a road sign that's like 222, two, two, and you're going to look down at the clock and it's going to be 222 two, two at the same time. There's going to be big things happening in the next seven days guiding you somewhere. Be conscious of your thoughts when you see these angel numbers. Be conscious of what you're thinking when you see them. Be conscious of what you're doing when you see these angel numbers because they're going to guide you. There is something in the next seven days guiding you to a dream come true, guiding you to wish fulfillment. This is exciting. I'm getting into it. Don't give up on love. A relationship you cherish can be healed. Allow me to clear 
the way for forgiveness so that love can thrive again. Some of you are about to give up. You're about to give up on, a, on somebody you love. You're about to give up on um, a, a love situation or love in general. Even if you cannot heal a past situation, Scorpio, don't give up on love. Don't give up on yourself in love because there is somebody out there that could give you exactly what you need, baby. Follow the signs here. Reevaluate your, your current circumstances and don't give up. Don't give up on love. <clears throat> All in perfect timing. This is it. Take action now. I will be here to help you every step of the way. So now is the time to take action towards something. Reevaluate your life, reevaluate your, your dreams, reevaluate where you're going, your current circumstances here. By June, there's going to be a lot of big changes, or somebody could be born in June. Um, in the next seven days, something's going to transpire. Um, disappointments in some affair. You could have some disappointments in the next seven days. You could have some disappointments in love. That's why you're being told to not give up on love. You are highly thought of. Somebody, it was 616 on the clock. Somebody thinks of you highly, Scorpio. Somebody in your life, people in your life think of you very highly. You need to defend yourself though. See, there's going to be something in the next seven days that you're going to have to reevaluate when it comes to personal relationships, I feel. When it comes to maybe coworkers, friends, people in your life, family members, you're going to have to reevaluate your life here. Defend yourself, stand up for yourself, shield, your, shield um, out any negative energy, really cleanse and clear your energy. In the next seven days, you may want to do some kind of protection spell now we have April. Somebody here could be, um, you could be dealing with somebody born in April or whatever is happening in the next seven days is, is going to, here you are, you could be a November Scorpio like me. Something could have ended in November. Whatever the case is, is April and June is going to be paramount for you. In the next seven days, um, reevaluating a, a current circumstance and, and following the signs it's going to really um, take off between April and June. Something big is going to happen for you around those months. If you're just starting a new job, by April, things are going to get really, really good. If you're just starting a new business or a new project, between April and June, something really big is going to happen. But it's all going to boil down to decisions you make in the next seven days. If you start taking action now, see, now is the time to plant the seeds. Between April and June, it's going to get really big. It's going to be a very fast manifestation, love. A path of money is waiting for you to find it, Scorpio. There is some, the, the divine is guiding you, guiding you towards a path of money, guiding you towards a very beautiful life. Again, I feel like um, I wish or something or somebody you wanted here, it, it's not going to go well, okay? Something's not going to transpire the way you wanted it to in the next seven days, but that's okay. Shake it off, stand up for yourself, and move forward. There will be temptation that tests you. Yesterday, I picked up on you all having a test. There's definitely some test coming in temptation. Time to act. Again, second card. Time to take the lead here of, to, of your life. Take the reins back. Start making major boss ass moves. I do feel for some of you in the next seven days, you could be reconciling with somebody. It may not be a lover. It could be a friend. It could be somebody, a family member, somebody you haven't spoken to in a long time, or it could be a lover in the next seven days. Dealing with the relationships with an older man, you could be having dinner with your dad, your grandfather. You could be dating a older man. For some of you, a older man is where the money path is. This person, it could be a boss or a supervisor. In the next seven days, that's going to have um, something very, very strong. Some, some, they're going to give you a, a very big opportunity or it's, it, it's something, a step, I'm hearing stepping stone. Yeah, you're going to have a choice to make in the next seven days, there's going to be a choice to make that's going to be a stepping stone. It may not feel big right now, but it's going to turn into something very, very big. 
nourishment and transformation in the next seven days. Really take time out to nourish yourself, honey. Take time out because there's envy around you. We always get this card. Understand that if you're not, you're, you're not doing something right if you don't have haters. If you don't have haters, you're, you're, you're not doing something right. So the fact that you always have people around you envying you, sending evil eye to you just means you're the fucking bomb, just means you're that special. There's something, though, that you are going to take action towards in the next seven days that's going to lead to a huge money path, and people are going to envy it. Be careful, though. You could have some people sending you evil eye. You could have people around you envious of you that you didn't, you didn't think were envious before. And now that I am telling you this, you're going to realize that they are very envious of you. Strength and success. A lot, a lot of lion here. You could be dealing with a Leo or some Leo in your life could be very important over the next seven days. The next seven days, there could be a Leo in your life that's going to be very transformational. Um, you could be reconciling with, or they're going to give you an opportunity here. They're going to be the guiding light. Some dream is going to come true. If you do the re, if you reevaluate, take action, listen to your guides and allow yourself to be guided. So let's get into the love portion. What's coming in the next seven days? Who's coming? We're going to use my dice. Guys, I am going to start using my pendulum at the end of some of our readings. Um, I am going to do that today. We're going to use these dice, though, to see who is coming or what date is going to be important. Who is coming towards Scorpio in the next seven days? All right. Could be at two o'clock, around the two o'clock hour. We do have here um, cancer and we also have, I'm sorry, babies. I don't know um, a lot of the, something's going, your intuition is going to be extremely strong. We have the moon here. So very strong intuition in the next seven days, as well as, why can't I find this? I'm sorry, guys. I don't know what this is. Okay. Pisces. A Pisces is going to be very important in the next seven days, as well as a Taurus. A Taurus, a Pisces, a Leo um, in the next seven days is going to be very important. Your intuition is going to be very, very high in the next seven days. Something you're going to be very, um, very sensitive to something. And we also have compassion and forgiveness, Neptune energy in the next seven days coming. So moon energy, Neptune energy, all regarding love, forgiveness and compassion. For some of you, may you may be um, reconnecting with somebody that you crave their embrace. You're craving their touch. They're craving yours. What's coming towards Scorpio in the next seven days? They're craving your touch right now. They want your forgiveness. They want your compassion. They're exploring options with you. They're exploring you in general. This person is watching you, but they're watching you from the darkness. You don't even realize this person is watching you. For some of you, this could be a new person. This could be somebody who has been exploring whether or not y'all would be compatible. They exploring whether or not you um, would uh, you know, date them if they asked you out. They're really exploring um, options with you. Are you seeing somebody? Are you the kind of person they could get down with? Something like this. If you have been receiving messages just like, hi, how are you from random people on your social media, let's just say, or somebody is constantly looking at your page or your post or your stories, this person is trying to decide on whether or not you would date them or if you're seeing somebody. Um, for some some of you, that is a new person. For others, you have a past person that's still trying to prevent something from coming out that wants your forgiveness, exploring options with you. There was other people plotting to keep you all apart. This is where the evil eye is coming from. I feel it. Okay. For some of you, you have a, a past person, an ex-lover, friend, their friends and family sending you evil eye. Um, an ex-lover who wants to reconnect with you, but the, these friends and family are plotting to keep you all apart. This is disgusting. You could have been put in a love triangle, okay? And, and, and in the next seven days, you're, you're going to have a moment to talk, have a moment to, um, 
I, I don't know if it's reconnect. For some of you, it could be reconciliation. But be careful because this person could be selling you false dreams. They could be selling you a pot of gold. They could be lying. And you're not even going to know how to react if whatever this person is hiding comes out, Scorpio. If this person, whatever they're hiding, if it comes out, you're going to be like, what the fuck? For others, you're going to be like, what the fuck? Because you seriously never thought that this person that's in exploring options with you would ask you out. I feel like it just depends on your situation here. But be careful that somebody does not sell you a pot of gold, okay? Be careful that somebody is not um, selling you false dreams, honey. You, you want to make sure this person is being real. I do feel they want reconciliation. They feel the time is now to act, but there's people trying to keep you all apart, point blank, period. They want to embrace you. They want to touch you. They're craving your touch, Scorpio. They want your forgiveness and your compassion. They feel you have unfinished business. So in the next seven days, you certainly could run into this person. They could be dealing with legal matters. You could be taking them for child support. You could be suing them for something. You could be in a divorce with this person, and they're going to want your compassion. Um, people are trying to keep them from coming back into you. For others, this person hasn't came back into you because they're dealing with legal matters outside of you, or they're dealing with karma but they are coming in. They want to tell you the truth now, possibly about whatever they were trying to cover up. They were trying to cover something up. You could have already found out and you didn't even know how to react. This relationship at some point was very toxic. And this could be why people are trying to keep you apart. You could actually have your friends and family not wanting you to reconnect with this person because they were very snake-like. They were always up to something. This person could, though, be coming back in um, to tell you the truth about whatever they did here, whatever they were covering up because they miss you. They want to embrace you, but they're still in a player ass energy. So be mindful of this. They do feel you have unfinished business. They do feel um, that they crave your touch, but somebody sending you evil eye regarding this. I know it. This person's going to come in here and possibly love bomb you. Okay, so be very careful. They're looking at the time, energy, and effort that they spent um, in this relationship, and they possibly are going to come in and try to love bomb you. Yeah, they're, they're planning something right now as we speak. They feel the time is now to act. They can be very romantic, very emotional, but there was a lot of conflict, five of swords energy. There's a lot of mental conflict, melodrama, mistakes, and reassessing again. We have reevaluating and reassessing. In the next seven days, you're guided here to reassess this situation, reassess this relationship, because at some point it became toxic. And yes, you're being guided here in Neptune energy to give forgiveness and compassion, but that doesn't mean that you should um, take this person back. You know, if you had a definite completion with this person in the world, look at them. They are in their head. They have sleepless nights. They're worried. They can't think. They can't sleep. They're just going round and round about when it's time. They're in, they've been in introspection about who they want to have the Ten of Cups with. All right. They can barely hold their self back here in strength. They're trying to be strong. Now you could be dealing with an earth sign, an air sign, a Virgo, um, a Leo. Again, a lot of Leo energy, a lot of it. This person could have ghosted you, fell off the face of the earth. They could have a family with somebody else, or you could have had a family with them. At this point now, they are um, barely able to hold their self back. They could have gotten counseling. They could have actually went to a therapist. This person could have been in therapy and really start, they're really starting to get their shit together. But they also could have been in a marriage. They could have been married to somebody else and you all had an affair. And now they are going for an ending and a transformation in their life. And they're coming back in here to tell you that their marriage is over, that they're going through a divorce. With legal matters being here, the hierophant and death, right? It could be another Scorpio. It could be another Taurus. We could have a Taurus. We have Taurus energy again. 
Yeah, they've been over analyzing, going back and forth. Which cup should I choose? Which way should I go? Back and forth, back and forth. This person, though, is about to come in very fast. Knight of Swords, very, very fast. But they're still cold and they're still in a knight energy. So they're not coming in to stay. They're embodying the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Swords. So they're going to be very um, determined, very motivated, very loving, very romantic, but are they here to stay, Scorpio? So please ask yourself that. Um, I feel like, you know, again, with the moon energy, a lot of moon energy here, intuition, but also illusion and fear. So keep that in mind that this person is still very fearful. They still don't really know what they want. They want to come into you because they feel it's time to act. They don't want to lose you. They're craving your touch. They don't want you to find something out here. The people have been causing issues in y'all's relationship, trying to keep them from coming in. But they're still in this player energy, guys. So whatever they want... Um, I don't know if it's going to be a long-term commitment. They could be just coming in for passion. They could be just coming in because they want to keep you str strung along. Yeah, look, I dream of you. Moon energy, a lot of dreams. They could be coming in because they can't get you off their mind. They can't stop dreaming about you. The divine is smacking them with karma, smacking them with mental karma. I can't be with you right now, but I will be back for you. I will. So this person, this is what was going on. They're dating somebody else. They're in a connection to somebody else. And people are trying to keep them from leaving this person. This third party could be sending you evil eye. This third party here could know that your person wants to reconnect with you. They could have left you for somebody they worked with. They could have left you for somebody else. Or they were already in a connection when you got with them. Um, and they can't commit to you. But they're, that's why they're coming in in a night energy. That's why they're over analyzing and procrastinating because there's so many people trying to keep them in the in the relationship that they're in for some reason. Maybe this third party has a strong relationship with their family and friends. There's something here. There's there's something going on. You could have been having secret meetings with them. And what did I say? Work. This person could have left you for somebody they worked with, or they you know they're they're trying to focus on their finances, but they want to have an intimate encounter with you. They want to have a secret meeting with you. This person here seems to still be in a third party connection. They're longing for you. They miss you. They miss you so much. They, they are suffering in silence, but they have people manipulating them. They have a third party manipulating them, but they're trying to be in full control of their decisions now. They're trying to, to step away from the manipulation. This could be your twin flame, but they want something where everybody wins. They don't want to hurt anybody. If you started seeing this person and they were already with somebody else, it's, it, there's not a whole lot of love here. It's more about money. It's more about um, staying in this relationship for purely beneficial reasons. It has nothing to do with the way they feel about you. They really do miss you. They're longing for you. They really want to, you know, come in and have some mm, secret meeting with you. But they have somebody making them feel like they are a martyr, making them feel like, how dare you leave me? How dare you leave for Scorpio? Like, you're going to leave me here with all the bills and all the kids. You're going to leave me after I've done all of this. You're going to leave me after all of that. Or, or um, you still love Scorpio. I thought you didn't love them. I thought you said it was over. Like, those kind of conversations. And um, yeah, there, see, friends and family are giving this person advice, trying to keep them from coming into you. But they have been looking for you their whole life. They're saying they actually feel like you are the person of their dreams. But whatever they have going on here, they could be in a toxic relationship with somebody else. And the reason why they're coming up as a player is because, of course, if they were already married or connected, they would come up in a player energy if they're coming to you for um, some kind of, you know, secret meeting. They're saying that a lot has changed. A lot has changed in their life. Something has changed here, possibly in their career, possibly in their mindset. There's been a lot of change. But. What hasn't changed is this person still cannot give you um, a commitment right now. They can't give you what you deserve right now. They're still very indecisive. And I feel like that's why you're being guided in the next seven days 
to reevaluate, reevaluate if this is what you want. My ego is fragile and crit and my ego is fragile to criticism and rejection. I have created walls to protect myself. This person has a huge ego. You may have said something that hurt this person's ego and you didn't even realize because they acted like they didn't care, but you really hit their ego and their pride. When we're talking, things just come out of my mouth. And afterwards, I'm not sure why I even said them. They could have hurt your ego then too. You all could have both went back and forth with some blows that hurt each other. I'm changing this pattern and moving forward. Yeah, they're changing. They're trying. They're trying to move out of this third party situation. They're trying to move out of this toxic situation. They're in some toxic third party situation where they feel like they are, they're literally trapped. This person could have been sold false dreams. This person could have left you thinking that this third party was the best thing since fucking sliced bread, but then they, they found out that they were sold false dreams. Um, for some of you, this person sold you false dreams because they told you they were going to leave a person and they never left. Um, whatever the case is, there are people plotting to keep you all um, away from one another. There are people sending you evil eyes. Scorpio, please protect your energy. Holy Spirit, please protect Scorpio. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. We send evil eye back times three big b keep us safe as i channel these messages yeah this person here there's something about their subconscious there's something that they they're they're in dark times they're making changes in their life because they can't stand to be in this toxic relationship anymore they are definitely in a commitment with somebody else this may not resonate for everybody this person is committed to somebody else they definitely are they're in a partnership. They've made a promise to somebody else. We have Taurus and we have Capricorn. So in the next seven to 25 days, you could hear from this person. They feel um, like they are trapped in this toxic situation, but they're trying to change this pattern. They want everybody to win. They want everybody to get what they want, right? They're trying to come to an agreement with a third party and stop and start to be decisive about their decisions. They're tired of going back and forth, back and forth in their mind. They're tired of it. They're getting in a very masculine energy and they're about to take action because it's perfect timing. The divine is saying it's perfect timing. And for a lot of you, you're being guided to not give up on love. Now that doesn't mean you sit around and wait for this person. That means that if this person comes back and they're acting right and they can give you a relationship, they can give you what you need, then forgiveness and compassion, you know, would be needed. But that doesn't mean you just sit around and wait and wait and wait for a person that's already in a connection, honey. You have to live your life. Tell yourself every day and every way, I get better and better. I am a winner, baby. All I do is win. Love and light.